Hello friend, I hope you're doing well. In today's video, which I'm super excited about, I created a faux rock backsplash for my pantry. So stay tuned. So I got this product on Amazon and I really wanted to show you how it will arrive if you order it. So it comes in a flat box like this, and these are the sheets. And you actually can order, I think you can order two, four, or six sheets. I ordered six to fit the pantry. First thing I need to do is I need to get the measurement under the cabinets. All right, 17 and a half. I'm gonna go mark it and cut it. Okay, little tip, I always say keep a bag of craft brushes, but another thing you should always have handy is a watercolor pencil. This is great for marking different things that you want to immediately come right off and not show, so just a little tip. Okay, so this product, you can see on both sides, is like a puzzle piece. They will fit together. But my first piece that I need to put on is going to butt up against uh, my pantry shelf. So I need to cut one side straight and then I know I need to cut that bottom straight because that's going to um, butt up against my butcher block. So I need to cut this way and that way and then I need to have that 17 and a half inches. So I got a little bit of cutting to do but it's super easy. Okay, see, I accidentally marked past where I wanted to. So, watercolor pencil comes right off. Very smart tool to have. All right, I'm going to put this on the wall to make sure I cut it correctly before I apply the glue and put it on. To apply this to the wall, this is just plastic, I am going to use what's called base bond. And I'm just gonna use my caulking gun and I'm going to put the glue on. You can see where the plastic's a little bit higher. That's where I'm gonna apply this glue, super easy. So now that I have that on there, I'm just going to take my finger and make sure that glue is touching all the high points on the back. The glue dries pretty quickly, but I'm gonna pop a couple staples in because I know I'm gonna be able to hide it, and that way I can keep working. Now for the fun part. I want this to look like old rock and not plastic and I tested this and I'm gonna share this with you I got this tile grout off of Amazon and I applied it and when it dried overnight it turned pink so if you decide you're gonna kind of make this look old with tile grout oh, really test it on a really small piece because I already had that big piece up so what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use some Venetian plaster. Um, you might have seen some of my other videos. Uh, I did the brick wall that I made look old. It's Venetian plaster is just one of my favorite products to use, but you can still use tile grout. It just doesn't matter. But I'm gonna start by filling in these grooves and then I'm gonna slide the product all over the rock. But we're gonna start with the grooves and I'm just gonna apply it with my fingers, super easy. I'm 
not going to put grout right here because the next piece is going to butt over that right there like a puzzle piece. Super messy, but I find it very fun. So I have a plastic squeegee and I'm going to start moving that product across the rocks. Look how beautiful and real that looks already. The last thing you want to do is go back through those grooves when you're thinking about making something old. Okay, the rains come down the rock, say this rock is 50 years old. Well, you don't, you want it to be smooth in between the rocks. So just take your finger and smooth out the product. So the corners will match up like a puzzle piece, but my corner of the wall, I'm gonna have to measure that part, cut it, and then reapply that piece that I've cut on the other side and keep moving on down. So, if you are putting yours together because you got to cut it a lot and you've got a little bit of a hole like I do, don't panic. Just cut out a little rock that will fill the space, glue it in, and then when you add the grout in between, no one will ever know. Okay, I am done with the project. Let's check out how it turned out. I will have a video coming out hopefully shortly with the entire pantry finished. It was a lot of fun, so stay tuned, and I hope you have a wonderful day.